Hello and welcome to my presentation about the franchise Wingstop. My name is Christian La Rosa with Introduction to Business, and we are taking a look at the franchise Wingstop self-branded themselves as the wing expert. Now, another little thing, why did I choose Wingstop? Well, Wingstop is a highly beloved chain restaurant, and the demand for wings are growing exponentially, as well as over 3 billion wings have been sold since their opening. Now, Wingstop also focuses on one thing only, that being chicken. And the reason why is because, say, another place like Taco Bell, where it has taco in the title, but they serve a diverse amount of plates. It's going to cost them headache and downgrade in quality, whereas Wingstop is pretty consistent since they only serve one thing and only focus on that one thing. Now, another little known fact, fun fact, is that NFL Hall of Famer Troy Aikman was actually the spokesman of Wingstop at one point. So, the history of Wingstop is beautiful as it, the Wingstop first franchised and opened in 1994 by a man named Antonio Swad in Garland, Texas. Now, the headquarters used to be there too, but the headquarters since have relocated to Addison, Texas. The revenue since 2019 has seen new heights as in $2.2 billion worth of revenue in the last two years. Now, there's around 1,500 locations within the United States, whereas in the rest of the world, there's 1,400 different locations in Wingstop, say like the United Kingdom. Now, their mission is to only focus on one thing, and it is not the wing, or it's not chicken. It's actually flavor. That's why they call themselves the wing experts. So, their main mission is to serve the world flavor, as stated in their company multiple times. This is why there are 11 different combinations and flavors that Wingstop can serve. They can Customers can choose between... 11 flavors, they can mix and match, or they can even go dry. Main thing is flavor. Now, their key business goal is to open as many restaurants as possible now that their revenue has been booming. As in, one of their main goals right now is to actually open a, f a handful of locations within the next 10 years in the United Kingdom. And also, the objective of Wingstop is to solely specialize in wings and also wing flavors. So, as as seen on their own branding, the Wing Experts, that is their own mission and vision. So, how do I exactly start when it comes to buying a Wingstop franchise? Well, the minimum net worth I have to have is $1.2 million. And half of that $1.2 million must be liquid. And also, I gotta pay the franchise fee, which can at minimum be 10000 but at most can be 20000 I have to pay the opening inventory and promotions, which at a combined rate of $31,000. And I also have to find a criteria where it is more convenient for shoppers and also more convenient for people who want to park there. So that anybody can just walk in and then take some wings. It needs to be at a very busy area so everybody knows that there's a wing stop there that they can just stop by when they're, when they're shopping and all that. Now, their demographic is nobody in specific. It's actually broad. And that's because, as mentioned, it's going to be in shopping areas where literally everybody is shopping. And so it doesn't matter who goes inside the Wingstop and buys wings, right? Wings are for everybody. This flavor is for everybody. They serve the world flavor. So there is no demographic. It's generally broad. So everybody can enjoy the great flavor of Wingstop. Now, there are some pros and there are some cons when it comes to buying this Wingstop as opposed to maybe like starting a franchise on my own. Well, with Wingstop, if I buy a franchise, I already have its established name. I already have its credibility. It probably costs less. It's much less riskier as well because it is a well-established name. And also expenses are in the form of fees. Now, the only cons I can really see with this is that the area that a Wingstop can open might affect the business because not only... Might the, area, might the area be shady or not many people go there, but also the locals might have a bad taste in their mouth with past, past criticisms against Wingstop. So those are the only two flaws. Versus, like, making one from scratch, the only pros you really have is the fact that it's local, because local businesses are the heart of America. Credibility is new and fresh. You can make your own credibility. Creativity is endless. While all of that in exchange for a huge risk factor of not succeeding, as well as expenses will drive through the roof and may cost a lot more. So, it is much easier to just open a wing stop. I really appreciate you for listening to my presentation about this beautiful franchise. 
and why it will make a tremendous investment.